To our top story, we begin with breaking news from Highland Park. Police on the scene of what we're hearing is a deadly shooting at a local auto supplier. And at least one person is reportedly dead. Others are hurt after the shooting at Farisia's plant on Oakland Avenue. Fox News' Charlie Langton live with more details. Charlie, what can you tell us? Well, I'll tell you, I can tell you right now to give some credit to the Highland Park Police because they were on the scene and they've got one person in custody, but unfortunately, one person is dead. Both employees, the shooter and the victim, worked at Forcia. This is a large plant here in Highland Park. A fight of some kind started with multiple people inside the plant, and then it was taken to the parking lot where a shot was fired, and again, one person dead, one person in police custody. But let me bring in the, uh, the deputy chief here from Highland Park who was on the scene. So, Chief, I summarized it, but what was this fight about inside? Allegedly, the fight was about some tools that were being used or not being allowed to be used, and um, these subjects got into a fight. It was multiple subjects on the inside fighting over these tools. Um, the management of the company then sent people home. At that time, uh, the victim was in his car. He was seated in his car, and the perpetrator drove up in his car, fired some shots at the victim, then got out and fired some more shots at the victim. And then security at the plant and Highland Park Police Department worked in conjunction, and they were able to subdue the subject. Both employees, what was the age of the victim? The victim's age, he's a black male, 40 years old. And the shooter? And the shooter's a black male, 29. Did he resist arrest? I mean, he, he was kind of caught. Well, he was fighting with the security and our police officers that were at the scene. We understand that this plan, a very large plan, is going to be closing and moving. Did that have anything to do with it, do you think? That's what we thought initially, but no, it did not have anything to do with that. And there's no other injuries of anybody inside the plant? So far, so sure. We're sure that no one else has been injured. Do you know if the plant is going to continue to operate today? Uh, it seems like everybody's going home and, and people are, are, are not in the mood to work anymore. So I think they're probably going to be done today. All right, so you'll prepare a warrant, it looks like, on this one. And uh, But good job. You guys got here pretty soon and uh, avoided any other problems. But thank you very much. Right. Our officers did a fine job. All right, thank you, Deputy Chief Patterson. Appreciate that. All right, uh, anyway, as you heard from the Deputy Chief there, again, one person is in custody. Uh, this could have been a lot worse had the police not gotten there earlier. But again, I can confirm now, one person dead, one subject, a suspect, is in custody. Both employees of Forsia. But as you can see uh, behind me, a lot of the people from the plant are leaving today. Uh, as the deputy chief said, it's just a it's just a very sad day. Highland Park does not have, they did not have a lot of problems uh, with shootings uh, in this year. So now they've got one and, and they'll uh, they'll have to you know, go through the normal court process. I'm live here in Highland Park. I'll send it back to you. Well, Charlie, you know, you talk about everyone not feeling in the mood to work and heading home. I, I mean, I can only imagine how unsettling this is for everybody who knows those men, uh, who works close to those men. To see a fight over some tools spill out into a shooting in the parking lot is pretty terrifying. And multiple shots, too. Again, as you said, Amy, over tools. Ah. I don't know. I don't get it. But as you can see here, this is a very large plant. Uh, they, it looks like they've been going through some rearranging, I'll say. I don't know much, I'm not so sure if it's difficulties uh, with their job security during this holiday season. But now, as you can see, all these cars are uh, leaving, the, leaving the plant. Uh, it's just a tough day here for the people here in Highland Park. But i got to give some credit to the police there. They were on the scene quickly and prevented what could have been even more problems for the people here. All right. As always, Charlie Langton, we appreciate you.